Oh, Omar, watch out. Oh, Alex, you can get a black light flashlight, I guess, and find scorpion. I'm not, I don't care about them outside, though. Uh -oh. they no, in have, the house. I'm not having a hard time seeing them. This box. And they appear. All right, scorpion queen. And they like the recycling. They like your oh. sweet juices. Not oh, everybody likes my sweet juices. Uh, box it up from Bodega. From a store called Bodega. In Massachusetts. Wait a second. Bodega. Yeah, it's in Massachusetts. I have to think for a second though, like, I'm getting my sneaker stores mixed up in my head. This store, I don't know, it's like a secret store, it's behind a bodega. You have to walk through a fake door. It looks like this in the front. Oh, that's cool. But then when you walk back there, it's a really nice shoe store. That's cool. Yeah. So back in the day, I used to visit the store all the time. It was like my favorite shoe store. So it's kind of crazy, full circle. They're sending me shoes, dog. And when I asked to do a pop-up there, they said, absolutely not. But it's okay. They sent me some shoes, son. Bodega. Better days ahead. Oh, crazy. They have their own fucking box. Yeah, it's like a that collab, level. dude. Yeah, shit. Doing things. Whoa. Big moves. Big body moves. New New Balance, huh? Yep. 997 is what they're going to be. Ooh! I like that girl. Lot. You like these? Kind of do. All right, all I like right. the colorway. They got a cool vibe. They're cool. Look, look at you branching out. Oh. Hey, look, the universe. Hey, you get out the way, the universe opens up. I didn't do this. They sent these. It's true. I didn't ask for these blessings. You found the they A6 just showed A6 up. A6 Nike, New Balance, and Adidas sneaker game takeover, dog. And I got them for free. It's about acceptance of all brands. I thought I liked the yellow in. I didn't realize. Extra laces. Nice. Shout out to Bodega. Now I gotta go somewhere so I can try them on. Uh. Jesus fucking Christ. Bodega, thank you. It is Saturday. I did go on a bike ride this morning. I have to, I'm trying to find a new path now. Like for two days I wandered around aimlessly. Just kind of feel like a really casual bike ride. Today I went on my regular path. I just cut off before I get super sketchy and found a new way home. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's been fun. The new wheels are great. I love them. I also bought a Rafa. So I usually ride Pearl Izumi. For you cyclists out there, you guys know what I'm talking about. But Pearl Izumi shorts that I got before, which are great. They're fine. Uh, I probably should've gotten bibs. I just didn't, because I'm fucking stubborn. And now I got a pair of bibs from Rafa. These bibs are insane. These bibs here that they sent, or they sent, I bought. Uh, I bought these for sure. But yeah, these Rafa bibs, the cargo bib, are expensive as shit. You got a little cell phone holder here. They are nice. This is, it was like a nice ride this morning. King Kong, fucking finally. I'm done tattooing. I took a week break in my schedule to just work on other shit. No tattoos. I'm supposed to go get my tooth fixed. I might postpone that. I don't know. It's kind of like chilled out. So I know people are going to be like, hey, that's stupid, you guys should get Alex is saying the same thing, I know, but I'm getting all this momentum now, and I don't wanna fucking take myself out of the game, and it's not hurting me right now, and I know, I know, I should go take care of it, but I'm just saying, I'm just being honest, like I don't wanna deal with it right now, or ever, but just being honest, I know, I know, I'm probably not gonna go, but I'll go soon, just not right now, I'm just so busy, there's so much going on, the weather is getting nice, you know, like, there's a lot, a lot of work to do. There's a lot of change, a lot of transition, there's a lot, a lot happening all the time. Smart bike's still not here, we have no idea what the fuck is going on. Well, apparently the company is mailing us the, uh, I don't know what it's called, I can't remember the name of it. I have to finish King Kong today, I'm finishing it, I'm gonna paint all day. I'm not gonna play video games. I tried to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It was boring as shit. I don't know, I knew it was gonna be. Sorry if you're out there and you like it, it's whack. Tony Hawk Pro Skater is so whack. It was fun when it came out because it was the fucking 90s, like the end of the 90s, early 2000s, and we didn't have anything else. But the fucking mechanics are so clunky and bullshit. And then after you play Skate, it's like, Skate makes sense. Skate makes total sense. It's just not, it's not natural. It doesn't flow. It's nothing like skateboarding. It's like tourist skateboarding. You know, I don't like it. I don't like the game. You know, there's nostalgia dripping with nostalgia, of course, but like, it's just not good. I'm sorry. Give me Skate 4 and we'll talk. And Skate 4 would just be repetitive. I'm sure it would just be another version of Skate, but still, an updated version of Skate would be great. I'll take it. I love it. It'd be amazing. You know, and even Skate has its downfall. Take out all the stupid combo shit, the ultra combos. Give me real life skateboarding with real life line, real life storyline, if we're gonna throw a storyline in there, like just give it to me. Stop fucking making it silly. Stop making it about points, dog. You know, fuck points. Don't make it no goddamn points. I can give a goddamn point. Points, numbers, views, likes. What is this? You know what I'm saying? What are y'all? What are we, robots? We are robots. Anyway, what else has been going on? <laughs> the biohacks, Avril Lavigne ones, people are copping. Y'all will buy any Jordan colorway there is. 
any any Jordan colorway that comes out, people will buy it. That is what that's what we've learned. There's no reason even talking about it anymore. I'm sure I will, but there's no use. Well, I guess I better get to work. I guess I better start drawing and painting. Well, first I'm gonna make breakfast, and it's gonna be French toast. And someone in the comments said that this French toast was me eating like shit, and it's not. This French toast only has. For four slices, it's under 400 fucking calories. What are you talking about? You're tripping, dog. We're out here eating healthy, son. You don't even know, except I did go to Shake Shack last night, because, oh, dude, because I was starving, and apparently I'm just dropping shit everywhere. Oh, also the pre-order has come in. We're getting that out. So if you ordered a Swirly Gang restock pre-order, or the Panther Power pre-order, is on the way. Lookbook soon for friends and family. I'm on it. It's Tuesday. I'm finishing The Sopranos. We are finishing King Kong today. It's going down. The lookbook is finished. 100%. Well, no. The lookbook is 85% finished. I might add something else. I don't know. We're going to see. It's spooky. Because it's Halloween time. I've been drawing a lot of skulls. Um, Koala collab. I have to finish. Tighten up one thing there. Liquid Death collab. 80% done. I have to... They pick the drawing that they like, so I have to finish that. We got that going on. No bike ride today because it's... Windy as fuck. Here's here's real uh, irony, I guess. Is today is the coolest day that it's been in Vegas. It's like the high is in the 80s. I was gonna go for an epic bike ride this morning. I went 20 miles yesterday. I was gonna go 30 today, but it's windy and it's so windy that I wouldn't have fun. So today is a rest day. I'm gonna finish all my work. I'm going to make fun of people who are going to McDonald's to buy a Travis Scott burger. You're eating in and out. In and out. I mean, Shake Shack. How come you're not eating the Travis Scott burger today? I don't know, I don't vegetarian. It's got extra beef because that shit is stupid. Oh, you got beef with it. I got beef with it. Travis Scott stole my logo. Now it's on the McDonald arches. Just saying. Little three dashes at the top. It was all me. Me and Travis took a flight together, sat next to each other. Then all of a sudden the logo changed. Coincidence? I don't think so. I finished the King Kong painting, I think. I at least need to take a break for like 10 hours before I look at it again, because I'm pretty sure it's done. And now I'm gonna take a dab. I also went to the gym, but I went to the gym in the house. Can't confirm. You went to the other gym though, yesterday. No, I did go to the gym. Now I'm gonna make food. It wasn't yesterday, it was the day before. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna make food while Alex eats Shake Shack. Look at this smashed ass grilled cheese. And uh, yeah, I see it. Looks like it. a pancake. It does look like a pancake. You want a bite? No. Good. I want a dab. You want a Travis Scott cheeseburger, don't no, you? No, I don't. No, I'm trying to Abner. Abner. Even Abner wouldn't eat that bullshit. Quite a few hills. An hour 33. Look at my hands. An hour and 33 minutes. 20 miles. Whew. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we can get the day started. My head's clear. I needed to clear my head. I mean, honestly, it's silly. But y'all going after Travis Scott McDonald's almost, almost made me blow a head gasket. I don't even know how else to say it. Y'all confusing the fuck out of me. Like, what the fuck?
All right. The last few days has been a little crazy. Yesterday, I feel like, yesterday I feel like was an exceptional time. Maybe the world, I don't know. It's just like, dog, look, some people think I'm negative. Some people think I just talk shit all the time. And maybe, maybe that's true. I'm only responding to what's around me. And what I see right now is just, I mean, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculousness. Now, I don't know if I've gotten old. I'm trying to think back to when I was a kid if anything like this ever happened. You know, there's no, Eminem didn't release a fucking limited edition talk. Grant Hill drunk, drunk Sprite. It wasn't a big deal. Everything becomes a fucking huge deal. The Travis Scott merch. It's like, the Travis Scott McDonald's collab is whatever. It's goofy, right? Like, it's a fucking <clears throat> bacon quarter pounder. And if you needed somebody to instruct you to dip your fries into fucking barbecue sauce, I mean, God help you. So, the merch. Yo, Travis Scott is a fucking scammer at this point. Me and Travis, we took a flight together. You yeah. know? We took a flight together. We we talked. It was boring. You know, conversation is about as interesting as his merch. This shit is terrible. Nothing about this that is redeeming. Nothing. There's not, you know, nothing. You can't find any you, you cannot find anything nice to say about it. Like it's fine if you want to say, yo, I'm just being ridiculous. I'm gonna wear this McDonald's shit to be ridiculous. Say that. No one looks at these designs, these fucking bootlegs, say by the bell. Chicken nuggets with fucking faces scratched on top of them fucking styrofoam cups a chicken nugget pillow how lonely how lonely do you have to be to have a chicken nugget body pillow you know what i'm saying and travis, travis scott like the music i've said it before it's not that good I and mean, all these people are hitting me up like surprised what's travis scott doing i can't believe this what are you talking about this shit's been going down this shit has been happening it has been unfolding and it's not just travis the whole fucking hype culture it's insane if i've learned anything through going through the wave of popularity or, or just liking something genuinely that be was popular became popular we could argue about it whatever is that people just want you to agree with them. Like people just want to do whatever they want, which is influenced by like radio mind control brainwaves. And then they say, Oh, I want to do this. You don't really, you're just brainwashed. We watch you be brainwashed, and we're like, Oh my god, you brainwashed fucking idiot. What are you doing? Oh, just you know, just do what you want, you know, like where would you like, you know, this whole campaign. It's like, yes, you can do whatever you want, but some of us are gonna wonder why the fuck you're doing it. You can fucking wipe shit on your face and walk down the street, and I'm gonna wonder why you're doing it. That's it. Like, you bought Travis Scott merch, I wonder why, you know, I'm wondering. That's it. Like, I wonder when, like, when Ern does something that makes my, I, I don't understand, I'm like, I wonder, I wonder. How, how does your brain work? Teddy, you're so negative. No, I'm not the one that's changed. I have not changed. I mean, I've changed for the better in many ways, but I have not changed in the core. I've been talking shit since day one. Since day zero, I've been talking shit, you know? So I'm going to continue to talk shit. And if you don't like it, too bad. You know what I'm saying? Get over it. You'll, you'll get over it. There's a lot of other things to worry. And see, this is the thing about sneakers. Like, I learned my lesson. You know what I mean? I should have known it already. It was a fun ride nonetheless. You know, we've all enjoyed this ridiculous ride. So. Uh, I don't even know what made me go on that tangent. But they say, I, f I flew too close to the sun, if you will. And I learned some lessons, you know? Uh, I still 100% think that Boost is the most comfortable midsole that is in existence. Uh, doesn't mean that Adidas has capitalized on that properly or utilized it for my taste. Some of you out there love really bad Boost models still, but you know, we all have taste. And there's always, le and there's levels to everything. One day. One day you'll refine that taste. We've checked out the Asics Gel Overreact. I like both pairs. I've been buying a lot of shoes for me lately. It's been like a lot. I'm like, yo, I need to chill. Even bought another pair of shoes the other day, which we're not gonna talk about yet. They're gonna come, we're gonna look at them, but this pair inspired me to buy a different pair. You know, now we're getting up into the double digit shoe collection again. I'm not saying. I'm not saying there's a comeback, just saying. I might have 10 pairs of shoes now. Some people out in the world recognize my talents for what they are, and uh, <laughs> some, pe some people in the world like to hook me up with shoes still, and I really do appreciate it. And Bodega is one of those people who has hooked me up with shoes this time. I've never gotten anything from them before. I Maybe this is why they send me a shoe as a we're sorry. We're sorry. We should have let you do a pop up because it would have been crazy. But it's all right. We did a pop up anyway. And Bodega is a great store. If you go to Boston, you should go to Bodega. It's one of the most unique shopping experiences that you can probably have. So, especially at a sneaker store. But anyway, New Balance Bodega. Here is the label for all of you out there who think this is fake, who maybe think that I orchestrated this entire thing to look like I'm still getting seated pairs. The better days, they've done three different 
releases here. This is the third. Better days ahead. Thanks for the support. It's kind of cool that better days, you know, because let's hope. Let's hope that's that's coming. This is my first pair of 997 S's. I've had many new balances over the years before any of you or most of you knew who I was. I'm not wouldn't say that I was like a new balance head, whatever. Like just random new balance. Foot Locker, New Balance, never anything hype. And interestingly enough, New Balance being a Boston company, Bodega, Boston, New Balance, see what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. 997S, you know, there's a lot of different models of the New Balance, um, especially in the 99 numerology, 995, 990. You have the 997 and a half. First off, the 997 was designed by Stephen Smith. Some people forget. Someone gave credit to Yeezy the other day saying this shoe looked like a Yeezy. Well, Stephen Smith designed this shoe. St Stephen Smith also designs for each. Stephen Smith is kind of like what you like. He's designed a lot of shit you like. Like a lot. Reebok, Insta Fury. The lineage of the 997. The numbers don't really mean much. I mean, people are, well, the numbers have significance, like what they, like what they fall into. 90s are for speed. 80 is neutral. 70 light stability. Like all these different categorizations. But the numbers are just how New Balance categorized their own models. They don't really actually mean anything. The 997S and having the same DNA lineage as the 997. Now the 997 went out of production for a long ass time. The rumor is that they moved to New Balance Factory and that New Balance Factory, during that move, they lost the patterns and the molds and all the shit they needed to make the shoe. So they stopped. That's the, that's the, that's the urban legend. Similar to the foam posit. Not the same, similar, just saying. Broken molds, things of that nature. The 997 got super popular. Bill Clinton was rocking them. A lot of companies were moving their shit over to Asia, Middle East. New Balance pretty much stayed into the USA. They had UK as well, but they were mostly a United States company. Still see made in the USA on the buck shoe. And it's highly regarded as a USA company. And at the time, you know, well, even now people, you, you know what I'm saying. USA. After being defunct forever, the 997 came back as the 997 and a half, which I do believe was a 997 upper onto a 998 with the absorb. Absorb. I don't think it was this absorb. And this is basically their technology and cushion. In cap, which is basically C cap, essentially what in cap is, is just a mold that also has like a, a foam inside of it and a, absorb is what their foam is so picture boost absorb theirs is absorb it's nothing like boost it's just a really sturdy foam absorbs absorbs more that it's in the heel and in the toe it absorbs relieves absorbs and relieves shock absorb 997s that are popular and then you have the 997s which is obviously the sport version and then there's a 997h which i don't know what the h stands for i think it's heritage because the 997h is like basically the 997 it's just a little bit cheaper well it's cheaper in price and cheaper in material most people i think like the 997 better than the h but the h is a 90 dollars shoe that goes on sale so you can like get in the game real cheap s this never tried before which is basically designed same dna it's just to be sleeker more supportive more absorbing most people when they talk about new balance talk about the quality of the shoe the quality of the materials that's what most people will go with. and they're not wrong i mean the quality of the materials is by far better than something like nike or even adidas pretty nice around the toe guard i mean the mesh is really nice as well it's not really breathable it does have like a backing so it's not breathable the thing i hate about mesh and mds you know like non-breathable mesh in this shoe isn't uncomfortable because of the premium material on the inside of the shoe like super nice smooth it's just plush i don't know what material here, like felt it's really it's really nice so like it, it's really comfortable on your foot like super super comfortable putting these on for the first time was uh an experience for sure i didn't i really didn't expect these to be comfortable like i wore these for two or three days and they, and they are really really nice i would say like they are true to size like, extremely true to size for me they fit perfectly no split tongue you know like it's not movable tongue which i love i mean this shoe kind of reminds me of an eqt which whoa whoa blurry blurry 
How long have we been blurry? God damn it, if we've been blurry this whole time. Even though it's nothing like an EQT, it's just the only thing I have it to compare it to. If I lean on something for a while or something like that, I'll put a lot of weight on my heel and that's where I'll start to feel like this shoe's not as comfortable. So like, yes, after wearing them the other day for like six, seven hours, I would notice more of a foot fatigue than I would, you know, with Boo standing around because it's just not as cushy. Still really comfortable. I mean, the upper, again, I keep saying over years, I've just learned that the upper really makes a huge difference on the shoe and then the marriage of this upper and midsole they're it's really nice i mean it has its own tech it's not boost it's not react and that's it is what it is but i really like the shoe i'm super hyped that i got sent a pair because i'm not really like look i'm not like that i'm not really that eager to check out stuff that's not going to be as comfortable like, that's why the the four d's had to go like it's like i like the way a lot of stuff looks but if it's not applicable and i'm not going to wear it i'm not going to enjoy wearing it then i'm not going to fuck with it you know so it's nice fine stuff or to be introduced to stuff that i know a lot of you've been telling me to check out i get sick of spending money on shoes after a while but it is nice to find something that i do like and it is cool that you could sign on right now and know this model doesn't come out until september 25th you could sign on to new balance's site and get a regular pair of these which are not bad looking there's a black and pink pair that's sick if ronnie feig put them out people would go crazy or would be trying to resell them but yeah they're like 109 dollars or something right now i mean it's a dope shoe it's a slept on model i wasn't really i mean i would see these around and people for like i mean even in japan people were like you gotta check out that shoe you gotta check out that shoe i never checked it out i just didn't i had basing my experience off of new balances that I've tried, not really having an open mind, but these are, are actually really comfortable. Don't expect Boost, don't expect React. Like with all shoe companies, collabs just shine. If it weren't for other companies, who knows if the 997 would have even come back. If it wasn't for Concepts, another Boston company pushing the 997 heavy. You know, it's like the companies don't know what's cool. It's almost like they have to be told, you know, and it's like the streets got to call for it before anything happens, which is another reason why you motherfuckers got to stop accepting shit like McDonald's merch. Like, what the fuck? Bodega, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I'm going to rock these till they fall off. Um, definitely not going to get rid of them. We're not at that stage of shoes right now, but dog got already hold of this one. But yeah, it's a dope shoe. Height. It's like flip-flop and colorways. And it's really nice to look down at. The purple and the pink, looking down at the purple and the pink, when you look down, you got shorts on. I wear a lot of shorts now. I'm wearing a hoodie right now because it's cold today. It just gives you this like tropical vibe, you know? It's got that I'm about to be on vacation vibe. I mean, it works. That's how I feel when I look down. I'm like, oh, it's a relaxing day, you know? It's, a, it's more of a, the wind's blowing, you know? We gotta, it's gotta breathe. Thank you, Bodega, again for sparking the flame within me to appreciate shoes because i do like appreciating things i don't like being a hater i gotta call spade a spade you know what i'm saying we're not out here appeasing people with our opinion we're turning you on we're opening your mind you know just think about it just think about it